Okay, so in this next lecture, we are going to learn about reflection through lines which are parallel to the coordinate axis and arbitrary lines. Okay, so let me write a title here reflection about lines. Now we will handle two cases here. So the first case is if the line is parallel to the coordinate axis line is either parallel to x axis or line is parallel to y axis so look at this simple diagram suppose i have this line this line is suppose y is equal to k okay and this is the object that i'm given and i want to reflect this object x about the line y equal to k okay so i mean i mean to say that i want to find this object so this object is what x star now how i what matrix will do this job this is what i want to find okay now what we will do is we will take this entire picture and we will first bring everything down by k units we will bring the the line the object everything i will bring down by k units means what am i doing i'm shifting this entire picture from this stage to this stage and which matrix will do this job which will translate everything from this to k units so this i will delete now so this mat this work will be done by a translation matrix that translation matrix is translation along the y coordinate by how many units by minus k units so what is that matrix 1001 with a 001 so all the picture i have brought down to this stage so that the line y equal to k line actually became x axis now how will i reflect this object about the x axis now we know that a matrix of reflection about x axis is very easy what is that matrix the matrix which does this job will be called as t2 and that matrix is reflection about x axis and what is the matrix of reflection about x axis it is given by 1 and minus 1 on the diagonal and 0 everywhere with the 0 0 1 in the last row so this matrix will reflect the object set to the lower region and once this job is done i will forget about these old objects and i will again do what i will again retranslate back by k units retranslate everything back by k units so that x axis becomes y equal to k line and this object comes up this object comes up by k units so i will so this is translation by y coordinate by how much uh, how many units by k units so this was the original object if you remember this was the original object so this is the way i got the third transformation by retranslating back by k units along the y coordinate and that is done by 0 k 1 and this is 1001 and this is 001 so therefore this means that the matrix which does this to this so x to x star who is that matrix that matrix t is nothing but concatenation of all the three operations that we have done what is the first operation first is bring everything down to the x axis then take reflection and then re translate back to the original line okay so this is how you do reflection about lines which are parallel to x-axis if you similarly ask me what will be the reflection of about the lines which are parallel to y-axis so suppose a line is like this so suppose that line is x equal to k what changes are you going to make you are going to instead of instead instead of translating the by the x coordinate uh, by the y coordinate i'm going to translate it along the x coordinate this will be the change here instead of reflecting by the x axis i will reflect it along the y axis the reflection given by what one 
one and i will again retranslate by the x coordinate which is nothing but k zero one and i will use the same concatenation will give me reflection of this object about the line which is parallel to the y-axis so this will be my t okay this is how you do reflection about line which is parallel to the coordinate axis okay. write the matrix to reflect object through the line x equal to the object is not given to us. We are just asked what? We just asked the matrix of transformation. So we know that this matrix of transformation is obtained by three steps. What is the first step? You will first bring, you will translate everything. So this is the line x equal to two, okay? I will first bring everything to the, and make it coincident with the y-axis means i'm going to translate it by the x coordinate so 2 0 y minus 2 and 0 i've translated towards the origin and this is 1 0 1 1 1 and 1 and everything else is 0 so this line x equal to 2 has actually taken the position of now what y-axis now i will do the reflection of the object so t2 is nothing but reflection about which uh, ax uh, about which axis about the y-axis which is given by minus 1 1 and 1 and 0 0 0 everywhere and after doing the reflection i will again say that let the line x equal to go back to its position by retranslation and therefore i will get t3 is the line this is plus 2 by x coordinate and 1 1 on the diagonal and 0 0 0 else everywhere so this is t3 so the total matrix which will do my job will be t equal to t1 t2 and t3 i will multiply these three matrices and i will get the final matrix okay this is the way you do reflection about the x x equal to 2 line right now moving to the next reflection about an arbitrary line let us write one uh, one small note what you know is that if you have a matrix rotation matrix is r theta which is cos theta, sin theta, minus sin theta, and cos theta, and the one in the diagonal. What is the inverse of the rotation matrix? The inverse of rotation matrix is nothing but R of minus theta. So you just replace your theta by minus theta. When you replace minus theta by theta, cos minus theta will be cos theta, but sin, theta, sin minus theta will become minus sin theta, and there every year I have zero, zero, 001, okay? So this is the inverse of the matrix uh, R theta. S second observation I want to do is if I have a translation matrix, okay, if I have a translation matrix, and so suppose the translation matrix is about X coordinate I'm translating. So the matrix is one, one on the diagonal and zero, zero everywhere. What is the inverse of this matrix? It is observed that the inverse of this matrix will be the retranslation which is minus c01 and 010 and 100 so this two observations are going to help us in our further calculations now what we will do is we will go to case 2 and we will take an arbitrary line y equal to mx plus c so this is the line say y equal to mx plus c now what i want to do is my my aim is that I will take an object here which is called as x and I want to reflect it about this particular line so this will be my x star so how will I bring this x to x star what matrix t should I write is is our basic motto right so what we will do is let us see stepwise what we will do we will do some very simple things first of all you all know that what is the slope of this line the slope of the line y equal to mx plus c is given by m and we know that m is equal to tan theta so what is the expression for theta theta is tan inverse m so this means that this angle is theta which is given by the formula what by the formula tan inverse of m right now what i will do is i will 
first bring the entire line this entire line and object i will shift everything down basically you now if if this line is y equal to mx plus c we know that this 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 is a y intercept which is how much which is c units correct so we will do one thing we will bring the entire line down by c units so which type of matrix am i applying here i am applying translation matrix that translation matrix is suppose t1 in which coordinate am i translating i'm coordinating uh, i'm translating along the y coordinate so this is 0 minus c and 1 and here i have identity matrix and a 0 0 1 so i have brought everything down so if i do that the object will also come down object will also shift down by c units the line which is y equal to mx plus c has which was not passing through origin is now actually passing through origin what angle is this line making this uh, this line this line is making an angle theta because the earlier line and this line were parallel so this angle is also theta now i will rotate this line by minus theta degrees so that it becomes x axis okay so the second operation that i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate the entire thing by minus theta degrees so that this line y equal to mx now this what is this line now this line is y equal to mx because it is now passing through origin so the c factor has gone away so this line y equal to mx becomes coincident with the it becomes coincident with the x axis which you know is cos theta minus sin theta what is r minus theta cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta with the 1 0 0 1 0 0 1 right after i do this so this means that this line is now gone out of the picture an object has been rotated so this object which was here is now slightly rotated by theta degrees so this is the object now i will reflect that object using the reflection matrix what is this this reflection about this is the reflection about the x-axis so then the third matrix that i will do is i will reflect it about the x-axis So the third matrix is reflection about x-axis. What is the reflection about x-axis given by? It is given by 1 and minus 1 and 1 over here. So the object is now reflected down. Once our reflection job is over, you have to reverse all the earlier operations. So after you have got the reflection, what will I do? Now I will again rotate this line which was sleeping here. And I will again rotate it back by theta degrees so what is the third fourth operation i am going to rotate everything back so that this triangle also gets rotated with respect to the with respect to the line and then i will translate this line back to the c units so then fifth operation will be translation by by the y coordinate so that what will happen zero c1 an identity matrix over here this so that the object will also move up and this will be our final output this was x and this was x star so this is how you get the reflection about the line about the line what y equal to mx plus c so let me repeat what we have done we first brought the line in the first stage the line was here we first brought the line down by using translation then we used rotation and made this line sleep along the x-axis then we reflected the object after reflecting the object we again rotated the 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 line by angle theta and again translated it back to its original position so what is this all all these all these things will come and concatenate to give us the final t which is t1 t2 t3 t4 and 
25 okay find the transformation which uh, which is used for reflection of an object through the line y equal to 2x minus 1 okay so how will i do this so object is not given to us we just have to find the transformation matrix now here you have that y is equal to 2x plus 2x minus 1 so this means that the slope m is 2 and the value of y intercept is minus 1 what do you do first you first bring the y intercept towards the origin by translating along the y coordinate so by what by the negative of that so it will be a plus one here okay this is your t1 what is your t2 after bringing it down you are going to rotate it by angle theta what is angle theta your theta is tan inverse 2 which is your angle theta right and which will which comes up to be some number which which you can do it in your calculator and when you find the cos theta sin theta sin theta cos theta it will approximately come up to be 0.4472 minus 0.8944 and remember you are supposed to use the calculator in your radians mode okay so you get the matrix then the third matrix will be you will use a reflection along the x-axis the reflection along x-axis will be 1 minus 1 1 then you will use again after your reflection is done you will use the rotation anti-rotation which is your r minus theta so the signs of theta and minus theta will get changed so 0.4472 and this minus 0.489 will become plus 9894001 this will become a plus 8944 and this will become 0.4472 and this is 001 and what is the fifth thing you are again going to retranslate by c units what is c c is minus 1 so 0 minus 1 1 and identity matrix in the first block 001 and your final matrix of rotation is t which is t1 t2 t3 t4 and t5 you have to sit and multiply all these five matrices so that you will get this final matrix which does the reflection about the line y equal to 2x minus 1.